offensively. Marquette runs Howard off a ton of cross screens. Step back jumper. There's no defense for it. And make a move from the perimeter so they can avoid the double team. Go around the edge. McClung leans in, hits the jumper. And yeah, that's a nice play call. That's the ISO kind of cross screen action. To continue to be consistent and do more than just score the ball. McClung's got numbers for Georgetown. And Mac McClung with the left hand. Point of emphasis for Steve Wojciechowski, the transition defense coming into today's game. They have to get back and get bodies in the paint. And Howard knocks down the corner three. And now McEwen went right through the defense. Wide open look for Howard. That's the death sentence. 7-0 run for the Hoyas. There's Howard. That's a good way to stop a run. Takes so many shots, and he's constantly moving. Here he gets too much separation with Allen and prefers to play down on the block, but he can stretch the defense and make you pay. Now Howard with Yurt 7 right in his face. And Howard looked right at him like, look, man, you can make threes, but I can make more. Pulls away the rebound. Here come the Hoyas, chance to take the lead. McClung, fancy dribbling. Gives the Hoyas the lead. The kind of guy that you can call an X-Factor coming off the bench. Averages five rebounds a game. This is Jace Johnson. McClung again knifing through. Too strong on his shot. Mosley was right there, though. Made it uncomfortable. Mosley surveys to McClung. Matt McClung. Quick timeout by Steve Ojahowski to square up his defense. Howard. Leans in, makes the bucket, chance for a three-point play. Watch out Howard, well, he catches the ball here, but before he got the ball, the movement without the ball is what allowed him to get the angle and get the shot. Howard does a great job of coming off that screen, getting separation. Howard going around the screens, and he finished. That takes the pressure off the bigs, and great decision by Yurt Seven to get it back to Mosley for the corner three. Howard right back in it. Such an important part of this Hoya team, stepping up when they need him most. Howard drives underneath. 11 combined between the two teams. Howard around the screen. Howard floater, 25 for Marcus. Extra pass, McClung. Pickett follows, no. Into the hands of McClung, another chance. Mac McClung get himself going. Look for him to be more aggressive down the stretch. Eight minutes to go. Starting to see Georgetown win a few of those battles. Here's Howard from the free throw line, stepped in. McClung, top of the key, drills it free. Mason Howard continues to have his way with that ball screen situation. 31 for Howard. McClung answers on the other end, just as Steve Wojciechowski was talking about. Howard. Wow! What a shot from Marcus Howard with time winding down. 11 minutes. Well, he's got in the gym range, and when he catches it, you just know that he's not going to hesitate, especially when the shot clock's winding down. Controlling tempo, when you have the ball in the hands of Howard, you can do that. And Howard off the glass. It rolled in. It's that kind of day for Marcus Howard. Marcus Howard sitting on 38 points. Let his man go by. 41 for Marcus Howard. The boys and the patients. And gets to his sweet spot. Oh, here's the three. Sunday on Fox. Aaron Rodgers looks to move one step closer to a second ring. Touchdown! But Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers stand in his way. The NFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Sunday on Fox and the Fox Sports app.